Can a truly born-again Christian ever be lost? Well, the short answer is no. If you're truly born again, you cannot be unborn. I have a friend who believes you can lose his, lose his salvation. And I asked him, are you saved right now? And he said, yes. I said, well, I should do you the biggest favor in the world. And he said, what's that? I should pull out a gun and blow your brains out, and then you'd be sure to go to heaven. <laughs> I don't think he liked me saying that. However, maybe you get the point. I don't try to do what I'm doing here to show how much I know, because I have friends that believe they can lose their salvation, but I believe they are mistaken. Now, salvation is 100% by grace. We are saved by grace. We are kept by grace. There is enough sin in everyone's life, Christian or non-Christian, to send them to hell. The Apostle Paul said, I am the chief of sinners. He said that after he was a Christian. He didn't say, I was the chief of sinners. He said, I am the chief of sinners. And if a Christian says that he has no sin in his life, he is a liar. And it says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Now the Bible records the sins of Abraham. He lied about his wife in Genesis 12, verses 13 to 19, and Genesis 20, verses 2 to 9. Moses, he struck the rock twice in Numbers chapter 20, verses 11 to 12. David committed adultery and murder in 2 Samuel 12, 1 to 15. And when David repented in Psalm 51, he didn't say, Lord, return to me my salvation. He said, return to me the joy of my salvation. John the Baptist, he fell into doubt about Jesus in Matthew 11, verse 3, and in Luke 7, 19 to 20. Peter, <clears throat> he cursed and denied that he even knew Jesus in Matthew 26, verses 74 and 75. Paul, he confessed, as I mentioned, he confessed in the present tense he was the chief of sinners. He said this after being saved. 1 Timothy 1.15, Noah, he got drunk and worse in Genesis 9, verses 19 to 29. All of the above were sinners, but they were saved. Now, God is able to deal with the sinning Christian. And as I mentioned in Psalm 51, David prayed for the joy of his salvation to return, not for his salvation to return. So that is just a quick, believe me, a quick uh, little discourse on whether a saved person can be lost. Thank you for listening.